Hello and welcome to WordPress Tutorials. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to place a hotel room reservation system uh, on your website. For example, I will place uh, here a hotel where uh, visitors can check dates, available rooms and uh, they can book uh, your room directly from your home page uh, from this banner. So uh, for this, we will need a plugin come to your dashboard and uh, also please remember that this page is built with Elementor you can use any page builder uh, if you do not want to use Elementor so I'll, sh I'll be showing you how to uh, integrate it with Elementor come to your WordPress dashboard click on plugins add new in the search bar type AWE booking and press enter now you can see there are two plugins one is aw booking which is the main plugin and one is aw booking and elementor integration so you will need both of them uh, to use it with elementor or if you are using any other website then this will be enough okay uh, click on install now for the main plugin okay before activating this plugin main plugin click on install now for the elementor one now click on activate for the main plugin after activating the main plugin come to your installed plugin page and scroll down to AWE Elementor plugin the main plugin is active now click on the, uh, activate for the Elementor integration plugin now we will need room types to be added come to hotel room types I will add three room types one basic second one premium and third one luxury click on add new create the first one basic type some information about this room this room is our lowest budget room and how many rooms uh, you have uh, in your hotel uh, I'll leave it as three maximum occupancy two persons number of adults two I can maximize it to four but uh, let it be three number of children one now about the pricing the rate will be 50 50 dollars and service included uh, we never defined services yet so click on publish for this room and now let's add some services I'll open the services in a new tab so we can uh, come back and add these services to this click on add new service services are for example uh, if you want to include breakfast or uh, something uh, some extra services uh, into your room so uh, our first service will be breakfast type in the name breakfast add price to uh, the price will be added to per night or the price will be added uh, overall charges so I'll add it to per night amount will be ten dollars extra you can give some uh, description okay publish now let's add another service click on add service type in the service name for example uh, airport pickup add the price uh, it will not be per night it will be overall price so it will be dollars thirty 
and click on publish if you are new to our channel uh, please subscribe to our channel so uh, you won't miss our future updates and also please give this video a thumbs up for adding the second service come to your main uh, basic room type and refresh the editor now scroll down to the services uh, room and amenities pricing uh, to the pricing section and click on services breakfast included it's not included so uh, it will be uh, as a separate service uh, maybe they s add the services as a separate service okay c uh, come to rooms and amenities you can mention your uh, room size and also bedroom single bedroom double bedrooms the type of the room and now come to the top and click on update click on update now let's place the widget on our elementor page okay there is one uh, simple thing more to be added uh, when you click on AWA booking and come to calendar you can see that they say uh, no room types found to be displayed so uh, we just added a room type but it is not showing here come to hotel room types again here you can see that we have a room type basic but the rooms number of rooms is uh, zero and we can fix that by clicking edit for the basic room type now scroll down to the general setting section here you can see room types are uh, rooms are three but you have to click on generate rooms there are uh, three rooms basic one two and three you can add more rooms by clicking add room and now click on update now when the basic room is updated click on awae booking and choose calendar open your elementor editor click on the area where you want to add the awe booking bar uh, for example i click on this banner uh, on add button and then type uh, in the search widget type awe and you will find the check availability booking plugin and drag it to your column here and leave it now you can see that the widget is too long you can uh, resize it by dragging from either side of the plugin or click on right click on column and click on duplicate we can remove uh, we can move this from here to the right one because I want it here also you can uh, arrange manage the size of this column by dragging it it's perfect for me uh, click on this pen icon for the widget but first uh, remove the duplicate one and click on the editor I'll give it a title check availability or booking or room booking now update the page click on update now uh, when you try to check availability for example from 13 to 15 then you will see that uh, it's not uh, working it's it will be uh, redirected to the same page because there are a couple of pages uh, which are required now to make those pages come to your dashboard and um, come to AWE booking and settings page now scroll down to the uh, pages section 
you will need a page availability result availability checkout page and terms and conditions page so uh, for this you will have to um, build three pages with no content but uh, you will name them as availability and uh, terms and condition and checkout pages click on pages add new type your name check availability and publish now click on add new again build a page for checkout for example reservation checkout and click on publish now come to the pages selection tab again and uh, refresh this page so these pages are uh, available here so we can select them okay now for availability results click and choose check availability and for checkout page it's reservation checkout this one and click on save changes okay after saving the changes come to your uh, booking page again and refresh it now let's uh, choose the dates for example I'll choose from 14 to 16 three days 14 to 16 adults two and children no children and check availability then it will automatically redirect you to the check availability page which we just made and assigned to check availability section and as you can see uh, uh, the all all the details of my uh, check-in and check-out uh, two adults are listed here the price is also mentioned here and click on book now if uh, you are ready to go now on the checkout page uh, this is the subtotal and this is the total of uh, the amount which will be deducted click on checkout it will ask some uh, basic information title mister my name company no company street address payment method bank or direct and click on book now you can also uh, choose payment methods in the settings tab okay when the booking is done by uh, the visitor or the customer mm, you can check you will uh, receive a notifications in AWB booking and bookings tab click on bookings now on this page you will see all the uh, bookings or reservations uh, listed here uh, for more details click on the ID of the booking here you can see all the details uh, for example address email phone number and uh, if the user paid or is the due balance and check-in check-out date so uh, that was all for today's video you can also uh, add pricings and settings uh, pay payment methods etc from uh, the settings tab and uh, all other small changes can be done uh, simply as amenities and services uh, if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel so you won't miss our future updates thank you